more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. All right, Ty Bill, I don't have long on this. I ain't going to keep you too long. I want to go through some of these run concepts. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of material to get through uh, for the game. So, you know, I'm super prepared for any game against uh, Georgia when it comes to Florida. So the cocktail party is about to be lit. Make sure you're in the live streams. Georgia, Florida people will be going at it. But I'm going to have a ton of material on this. So I just wanted to concentrate on some of the creativity with the run game for Florida. And I thought I saw some pretty decent stuff out there. Um, against South Carolina, a team that I told y'all had a really good front, right? So you're going to get kind of a, a G Lee right here. You're going to have a skip pool. I have a skip pool by Hagee right here, right? You're an 11 personnel. Kyle Pitts out here doing work. You got to see Stone Forsyth going against uh, your man Javon Kinlaw right here. And uh, Nick Buchanan singled up with the uh, 2i right here, right? The 2i really gets into his chest and kind of seals him off. So this was a really good play. High snap. So I'm noticing a lot of these high snaps from Buchanan right here. But you see Hagee on the skip pool. Everybody's manned up. But look at Stone Forsyth, man. Stone feet Forsyth, right? Losing to Javon Kenlaw. Just so happened everyone else is doing work, even with the quick breach right there. And look at the vision by Damian Pierce. Damian Pierce had himself a game finally. Perhaps his coming out party. Everybody's been waiting for that boy, boy, especially your boy, the underground king, right? But man, that's a hole you can drive a truck through. So but look at this. This is what I like about Damian Pierce. He ain't dancing. He ain't break dancing in the backfield. He's delivering blows. Either he getting knocked out or you getting knocked out. Somebody getting knocked out. But look at my man right there. He's done. He's out on his feet, right? He's seeing daisies and stars and stripes and all kinds of stuff. So, oh, uh, nasty. All right, your re regular shotgun speed option. Look at the snap again by Buchanan. High and to the right. People don't realize how much just this little blunder throws off a run game with, with Trask having to grab that bad boy, reset, and then uh, press the line of scrimmage. But he does a good job this time, I think, pressing the line of scrimmage. The freeze draw, I mean, sorry, the freeze option. Uh, it's a pretty good play, but this is how you run the option, man. You really want to force guys to you right so him being aggressive he got the two hand the two hand chest pass right there john have a check or john stockton with it um look at all the space everybody out here doing work that's what i like about florida man everybody wants to block tyree cleveland uh, hammond uh man i'm not sure who that is right there but everybody's out there blocking like you wouldn't believe and what can you say about it more creativity even stone foresight out there it's actually Copeland. So, uh, shout out to Jacob Copeland, too. Had a, some uh, some really good catches in this particular game. I like the use of personnel. Still in 11 personnel. This time, you have a bunch formation. So, pretty much trips to the field. Uh, they ran this play a couple of times, I like, right? So, they're on the center with it right here. The Michael P. Diddy P. Ryan. Dancing in the backfield. Dancing in the background. Um, back there. You see the jet action, right? The jet action. So, this becomes... A split zone with jet action from under center. So you see the line flow. Uh, you see the zone blocking right there. Everybody stepping play side slightly out and up. So pretty much an inside zone with a cross formation block to it. Kyle Pitts right here coming to do work on the end man on the line of scrimmage. Look at the holes being opened up. That's why I wanted to get to this. I'm really showing how the offensive line was really getting in after that to the run game. Everybody was getting on them about the run game. But to me, this is perhaps the best defensive front that it faced and it showed itself to be uh, pretty worthy in this game i think on the ground but man look at the spacing michael p ryan don't even have to do his dance in the background right trayvon grimes i hope trayvon grimes i i, I don't know <laughs> it's late so I, I don't i didn't look for any information on him to see what's going on with him but i hope he's all right uh here we go p diddy getting up phil nice gainer same deal, right? Pretty much with a formation into the boundary with the trips. Pitts, Grimes, Hammond. Hammond with the ghost action, right? The ghost jet action. And then everybody else doing work. And you'll see the zone flow. And then P. Ryan taking that bad boy on the center. I love the, I love the ghost action, right? All it takes is just a little bit to kind of widen the defense. These guys make sure... You pretty much hold backside contain, right? You see my man right here. 
that's not really his job, but everybody else, you want to be widest of the widest once they finally seen that it wasn't there. That's that little split second right there just allows you a little bit more. You get the cross formation block on the end man on the line of scrimmage. Everybody blocked up, right? Blocked up like a house party. Trayvon Grimes doing work. Look at the hole, man. Florida doing big work against a really good defensive front. P. Diddy getting it in there. Extremely physical. So what I want to see from Florida. I want to see some physical football uh, married to that wonderful passing game that we've seen over the last handful of games. All right, they're working out of the stretch this time. Shotgun. Always make sure you pay attention to uh, the most interior linemen, whether it be anything from a three technique on down to a shade. That bad boy is pinned back inside. You want to keep it to the outside. If he somehow gets outside, you want to pin it back or, or run it back to the inside. So we see Javon Kenley right here. He was wreaking havoc right here with Forsyth and, and Buchanan. But noticing the cutback crease right here, P. Diddy with some good vision. Be able to shoot it back in there, just get some type of gain on there. But you see the carnage right there. But that's all a that's all a vision thing right there. So innate feel in vision uh, when you're working out of these stretch and these inside zones. So another good gainer there. All right, here we go again. Kind of like a pin and pull action with a down block by Nick Buchanan. Got Hagee again on the skip pull on the front side backer. This is a really good run. He's got Damian Pierce. Mr. Georgia himself, 88 and out the gate. Explosive run, right? So definitely I want to see more Damian Pierce. We see it right here. The skip pull by Hagee coming around with the front side backer. Which really makes this play is, all right, we got to see right here. We got a little bit of a breach right here. Working against Javon McKinley, who in my opinion is definitely a first round pick. Uh, he's kind of punking out Buchanan right there. But Buchanan does a great job on a redirect of kind of pushing him, pushing him by. Maybe you could call it a hold or whatever, but it's not a hold unless it's called, right? Uh, Hagee doing work over there. Now it becomes, once again, a hole you can drive a truck through. Not one man is going to be tackling Damian Pierce, especially a second-level player. Uh, he's going to run through arm tackles. He's just too powerful, too ferocious. He's just so ferocious, as Mike Tyson would say. And uh, you guys know the rest. So, of course, no full plays will be shown. This is not a highlight channel. This is a film study. But I didn't. There you go, man. Just wanted to see what was going on with the run game for the most part. I like what I was seeing. Uh, we'll see if it'll continue against Georgia. It's definitely going to have to continue against Georgia. You don't want to be one-dimensional against Georgia's defense. Don't, don't get it twisted. Uh, Georgia's offense may be struggling, but that defense is not struggling. So, this could, should be a game for the ages. Man, I cannot absolutely wait for it. Uh, but we'll be having plenty of content on that. Man, uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, good good hard-fought victory by the Gators and, and uh, damn downpour out there out in South Carolina. Inclement weather, but a run game travels, good defense travels. Um, but, man, same thing with South Carolina, though. So we got to look at the converse of that, of South Carolina having a lot of rushing success as well. So some of those run fits were a little off. But, hey, the, they got it done. The Gators win in a whole bunch of different fashions. That's a mark of a great team to me. And definitely a team I think that could possibly win. No doubt could win the SEC East. But, man, even going further than that, you never know, baby. Could be a playoff team. Everything starts to gel. Uh, get these guys back healthy after the bye week. We'll see where it goes from there, all right? But, as always, thank you for watching. It's your boy Murph, the Underground King. And I am out. Peace. Top billing. Top billing.